So you've been told that you have a lumbar disc herniation or bulge and understandably you're concerned about what this means for your health going forward. At Cornerstone we've put this video together to give you the information you need to understand what's happening and to manage the problem going forward. At any given time, between 1 and 3% of the population is dealing with a symptomatic lumbar disc herniation. Twice as many men are affected as women, and most patients are between the ages of 30 and 50 years. The vast majority of lumbar herniations occur in the last two discs, named L4-5 and L5-S1. Lumbar discs are interesting structures. They help aid in the shock absorption and mobility of the spine. They have a tough outer layer called the annulus and a more fluid center called the nucleus. A disc bulge occurs when the nucleus is working its way through the layers of the annulus but is not yet broken out of the disc. A herniation occurs when the inner nucleus breaks through the outer annulus and is released from the disc. Disc herniations and bulges can present with a wide variety of symptoms. In fact, many of them have no symptoms at all. This is why they're often found on MRIs, people who had no idea they had the condition. But for those who do have symptoms, they may include back pain, leg pain, leg weakness, and numbness or tingling. More serious symptoms are uncommon but include numbness of the genitalia or changes in your bowel or bladder function. If you have any of those symptoms, it's important to be examined by an orthopedic physician as soon as possible to ensure that the problem is managed appropriately. While the symptoms of a disc bulge or herniation can be severe and disabling, the vast majority of them can be managed by an experienced physiotherapist. Broadly speaking, there are two types of lumbar disc injuries. The first is degenerative. These injuries occur over time from wear and tear, as well as some genetic factors. The second type is traumatic. These injuries occur quickly as a result of a movement or action involving a lot of force on the disc. Traumatic disc herniations are typically caused by movements that involve forward bending combined with rotation of the lumbar spine. The specifics of a treatment plan depend a great deal on the details of a comprehensive clinical exam. An experienced physiotherapist will be able to assess your problem and develop a plan to reduce pain, improve mobility, and return you to your usual activities. Your treatment should be active. This means that you'll need to participate in the form of exercises and modifications to posture and activities. Your physiotherapist may also suggest some hands-on treatment to help you to restore mobility and relieve pain. Passive treatments like ultrasound, laser, or electrotherapy are not particularly valuable in the treatment of this problem. In short, if you're not working, it's not working. Once again, the vast majority of people who suffer from a disc herniation or bulge will recover. However, the symptoms do have a tendency to recur. Your physiotherapist can help you not only recover from this episode of back pain, but can be a wealth of knowledge on how to prevent future episodes. When your therapy is complete, you should have a well-structured plan that includes lifestyle modifications, strength, and mobility exercises. At Cornerstone Physiotherapy in Toronto, we've treated thousands of people with disc bulges and herniations. Our physiotherapists have specialized training to be able to evaluate, accurately diagnose, and treat people with this condition. If you're suffering from back pain, give us a call. We'd be happy to help.